So the geological definition of the Caribbean. All right. So what is the Caribbean physically? All right. The Caribbean is geologically diverse. Let me tell you that. Really geologically diverse. So the geological foundation of the Caribbean really showcases remarkable diversity. Right? We have mainland territories, continental territories, volcanic islands, coral islands, right? We have all different types of geographical business happen geological, sorry, business happening in the Caribbean, right? And the geographical um phenomena the geographical de that definition really bans on the geological definition somehow right so within the caribbean specific groups tend to emerge due to geological activity right so they may in they may interest uh, intersect rather with the political factors examples the greater antilles right tend to be larger islands the lesser antilles and netherland antilles tend to be volcanic in nature right the south american territories are you know a part of larger continental shelves, right? We're looking at those type of um, things, right? And I don't know how many persons here in the meeting right now did geography, right, in CSEC or continues to do geography in Cape, but you guys should have absolutely no issue, right, with all of this, right? So looking at this now, notably the Greater Antilles are believed to be older than the Lesser Antilles. The Greater Antilles are formed around 60 to 90 million years ago, and the Lesser Antilles are formerly, well, formed approximately 40 million years ago, right? So it, they exhibit a significant age difference, indicating distinct geological origins. The, uh, the Greater Antilles were shaped by tectonic movements, meaning that they were broken off of the larger continental shelves, such as North America and well, basically, North America, they were broken off through state plate movements on the Earth's surface, right? While the Les Antilles were formed by volcanic um, activities, right? So let's have a look at this. Plate tectonic theory. We know what plate tectonics is, right? Can anybody just let me know in their own words what plate tectonics is? What is it? What is it about? fast to respond the fast that we get out of here so what is it about just let me know what it is you don't have to know it's word by word or whatever just let me know what is tectonics to you in your understanding so it's basically the theory that the earth's crust is broken up into little plates as they would say the plates right and those plates move right yes sir all right so the Earth's crust is divided into large plate regions, right? Several, you know, several regions, right? And the underbelly of the Earth, right? The um, the, the other layers, right? Um, there are a ton of layers. I'm not going to list them out right now because that's for the geographical phenomena, right? But the mantle, right, generally has some type of volcanic, right, and geothermal and geological movements and systems that allows for the plates to move and form margins and stuff like that. So we're going to be looking at that. Constructive or divergent plate margins, right, tend to be the margins that move away from each other. All right, the information is here now, so you guys can get that. I'm not going to read the information. So we know that constructive or divergent plate margins are the margins that diverge from each other. So if you have two plates right, together, what will happen is that they will diverge, one going this way, one going that way, right? constructing new land. Right? That's why they're constructive plate margins. Right? The magma goes up from the, from the space that it provides, right? creating new crust. Right, new land is created, right? So looking at stuff like that, right? Exemplified by the mid-Atlantic ridge and stuff like that. When we get into all of this, we're gonna be looking in depth what these things are, right? So the divergent plate margin, right? They're moving away from each other, right? So the destructive or convergent plate margins, we know what these are, so they're the opposite of divergent, right, and constructive. Because these words are literally the antonyms, right? So these these actually come closer, right? So they smash into each other. So plates move into each other, right? So in a sense, they move into each other, pressing on each other, right? So this is where you're going to have a subduction zone where the larger, heavier plate, which is the oceanic plate, of course, is going to be going 
under the continental um, crust, which is, you know, lighter, right? We're going to have the formation of multiple different things, and we're going to have also a lot of um, volcanic activity, right? So when we get to the geographical phenomena and we start talking about types of vol well, volcanoes and what a vent is, what magma is different from lava and stuff like that, we're going to talk about it, right? But we generally have the formation of islands and, you know, um, well, volcanic islands, which is the Lesser Antilles tends to be formed by a subduction zone, right? So we're going to be looking at that, right? And conservative or transform plate margins, right? So these are the ones that are notably you know, seen within earthquakes and stuff like that. So they happen when plates move, creating a shearing zone, right? Creating huge impacts as plates move and release stress within the Earth's crust, right? Um, so the lithosphere just moves and glides over the asthenosphere. But you guys in Caribbean studies do a brief understanding of it. So you don't have to know, you know, lithosphere different from asthenosphere, different from um, troposphere and all those different types of like spheres on the earth geographically and geological spheres and so that don't need to know that right but you just need to know generally what's happening so the caribbean plate no the caribbean plate is an oceanic plate all right it's not a continental plate it's an oceanic plate all right so we're going to be looking at this so the continent so the continental plate sorry we're going to be looking at how they surround the, this oceanic plate but please keep that in mind that the caribbean plate is an oceanic plate all right so it it is bound on all sides by much larger, older, and denser plates. Due to the number of neighboring plates, the Caribbean, region, the Caribbean lies in a very active area, right? So this can be catastrophic in human society. The Caribbean is thus susceptible to earth activity, volcanic eruptions, and tsunamis as well, right? So the letter Antilles consists of an inner and inner and outer arcs of islands that coincides with plate boundaries, right? We're going to be looking at the fact that that plate boundary and that plate margin allows for the creation of the Lesser Antilles through volcanic activity. All right. So let's have a look at the Caribbean plate. All right. So this is generally the Caribbean plate. I think there's a bit of... No, there's not. A, okay. So here's a diagram that we're working with. So there is another diagram um, that I'm going to send in the... That if I find it online, I'm going to send it in the WhatsApp group of the Caribbean plate. No... First of all, we can know key limitations of the geological definition by saying that, you know, Trinidad is not a part of the Caribbean based on this definition. Neither is Guyana, right? Huge part of Cuba is not a part of it, right? It includes Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Honduras. Belize is not a part of the Caribbean. The Bahamas and Turks and Caicos is not a part of the Caribbean, right? But it does include B Barbados, though. So, yeah. So the, those are some limitations. When I ask you about limitations or you're asked to speak about the limitations of each definition, you're talking about how does the definition of the Caribbean that you're speaking about um, exclude territories that normally are described to be Caribbean. That's really what we're talking about, right? What does it include? What does it exclude, right? So looking at the Caribbean um, plate right here, we tend to have you now here transform plate margins along here. So along here is a transform plate margin. So plates move along each other, right? That's a, that allows for Haiti to have large epicenters because transform plate margins lo are located pretty close to that island, as well as pretty close to the islands of the island of Jamaica, right? Haiti is an island, Hispaniola, I should say, right? But um Jamaica and Puerto Rico also um along with Cuba, right, would experience um, deadly earthquakes if a large amount of stress were to be released at one time, right? So earthquakes tend to be a little bit more, you know, those islands would be a little bit more earthquake prone, right, as transformed plate margins are to the north of the Caribbean plate, right? So down to the southeast, right here, right here, we have a convergence are destructive plate margin, right? Creating those large hilly areas and mountainous areas within Central America, right there, as it divides um, the Pacific, right, from the Caribbean Ocean, right? Well, the Caribbean Sea from the Pacific Ocean, I should say that, all right? And over to the eastern part of the Caribbean here, right, we have a subduction zone, right? So we have a, another type of, you know, um convergent plate margin here right 
which actually creates volcanic um, islands and stuff like that. So the Lesser Antilles is really produced uh, by the volcanic activity sparked by the subduction zone. All right. So this is what the geological phenomena is really all about, looking at the Caribbean plate, who is on the Caribbean plate, who is not on the Caribbean plate, and what does the Caribbean plate and geological phenomena have to do with the Caribbean. That's what the definition is all about. All right. So let's have a look at this. The Caribbean is volcanic, right? So we're looking at the fact that they have different arcs, the inner and an outer arc of, car of um, volcanic islands, right? Creating um, these volcanic islands will allow these islands to have a lot of minerals, right? Have rich vegetation, right? It's really um, fertile, right? And that's really important because historical phenomena would actually support this. Right, that the Europeans used to use these islands a lot for plantation systems because they were so fertile. Right, so fertile black volcanic soil exists on these islands. Right, so yeah, so they're volcanic in a sense. Right, so we also have um, the fact that these geological features create um, a lot of tourism or generate a lot of tourism within the Caribbean. Right, based off of um, the different types of forests that they allow to grow, right? The different types of um, rivers and mountains, right? Um, that are present within the Caribbean allows for a lot of tourism. Generation of tourism is, is important, right? Also, specifically with Guyana, with Sulphur Springs, right? And the Pitch Lake within Trinidad, it can, these geological phenomena help to provide income for Caribbean states, right? So let's have a look at this. These are just a list of, you know, the volcanic islands so Montserrat is volcanic we know that right with this um Soufre hills in Montserrat by the way um many 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 volcanoes across the Caribbean have the same name many of them right comes from you know the word for sulfur right sulfur spring or sulfur lake in French right so Montserrat is very volcanic Saint Lucia right has the twin um Piton um mountains right so the volcanoes there right so the large one and the small one so go and petit right they're french right we have saint kitts and nevis right guadeloupe martinique dominica saint vincent and the grenadines and grenada right grenada is not really volcanic itself but it is caused right by that by an other it has an underwater volcano nearby Right, and that does influence some of the geological phenomena in Grenada. Right, so these are just a list of some of the volcanic islands that we know are present. Right, and allows for these territories to be really, really um, um, to have thick vegetation to be really fertile. Right, so we're looking at that. Slow emergence of magma due to subduction zones and convergent plate margins. Right, allow for the formation of coral islands. Right, which are basically underwater plateaus. This is how we have the formation of Barbados within the Atlantic, right? Due to that subduction zone, in a sense, right? We have the formation of, of low-lying low coral islands, for example. Barbados is an example, right? So we have that there, right? So usually it consists of limestone ridges and small plateaus that just emerge slightly above sea level, all right? So we have that there. And then we have the Dominican Passage. So the Dominican Passage is an important thing. I mentioned it earlier within the geographical definition that generally the Dominican pa Passage really separates the Leeward Islands from the Windward Islands. The Leeward Islands tend to be more French. The Windward Islands tend to be more English, right? The Leeward and the Windward Islands, they, the wind has something to do with it. We're going to be talking about that in geographical phenomena. The wind and have something to do with it, right? But linguistically... It has nothing to do with winds, right? It just has to do with how the islands are separated through that entire Dominican Passage. So the Dominican Passage passes above Dominica right there, separating Leeward from Windward. Right? So we have that there. And then you can see a list of the volcanic islands here that exist within the Lesser Antilles. Right? So we have that there. So many of the islands are mountainous if they're not um, volcanic. They are mountainous, right? For the islands of um, Hispaniola, Cuba, and Jamaica, and Puerto Rico as well, tend to be mountainous, right? 
they have large swaths of flat land as well so perfect for colonization perfect for plantation systems right while the Lysanthales tend to be very small right and mountainous as well some of them are flat but usually mountainous and volcanic right so that is that right that is generally it so i spoke about some of the limitations as well as the fact that um some of the nations or the states that are normally caribbean tend not to be included in the geographical definition because they are simply not on the caribbean plates